There's a beautiful story. Uh, there were once a man, he studied and uh, a young fellow, he applied for a job of a manager. So he sent his application, everything went fine. And uh, he went for the first interview, it was wonderful. And he went for the second interview, it was wonderful. So the third interview was from the CEO himself. So when uh, on the appointed day he was called for the interview, the CEO asked him, looking at his uh, paper, and he said to him, I see, you know, you have been very, you have wonderful grade, you know, in your study. And he asked him, who have paid, you know, who, who, have you got a scholarship for, you, for your study? And uh, the young man said, no. Then he said, your father have paid for, for your study. Then uh, the young man said, no, my father died when I was one years old. Then he said, but who paid for your study? Asked the CEO. So when uh, he answered, he said, my mother paid for my study. My mother worked and paid for my study. Then the CEO answered him, you know. So what does your mother do? I said, my mother work as a clothes cleaner. So she clean clothes. So then, uh, said, let, then the CEO said, let me see your hand. So the man put his hand out uh, in front of the CEO and the CEO was looking at his hand and he, said, he asked him, Did you, do you help your mother? So without thinking, the young, the young fellow said, oh no, my mother, I never helped my mother. She wants me to study and uh, also I don't have time for that. You know, and uh, she can wash clothes better than me, more faster also. So looking at his hand again, he said, okay, do one thing, my dear. Tomorrow, uh, tonight, when you go back to your place, wash the hand of your mother. Strange in his mind, he said, okay, yes, I will do. Then come and see me tomorrow. As the young fellow left the office, he was thinking, the interview went very well and he was very keen and very adamant that he will get the job as a manager. So that night he reached home and uh, he asked his mother, mother, let me wash your hand. The mother was a bit uh, taken aback, why he want to wash my hand? Uh, so. As his son asked him, does she approve of it? So when he hold his mother's hand, for the first time of his life, he saw that his mother's hand is full of wrinkle and bruises. So, Looking at his mother's hand, he started cleaning the hand of his mother. And as he was cleaning the hand of his mother, tears start rolling from his eyes. Now, and of course, the mother's, because of the bruises, she was shivering with pain, sometimes when the water will go inside. So he hold his mother's hand and he start crying. So that day, that night, he cooked food 
for his mother and he um, gave it to his mom and when his mother was eating he washed all the other clothes and that night mother and son they sat and talked about their life and tell you know how wonderful you know their life had been and and he was having such a gratitude for his mother for what she had done for him so the next day he went to the office the ceo asked him how was your day how was it last night when you talk with uh, well, have you done what i told you to do and he said yes i have washed the hand of my mother and uh, he was crying some tears rolled down from his uh, eyes and then the ceo said to him what lesson have you learned from that you know and he said that i have learned that i should not take everything for granted and i have to be grateful for what my mother have done for me i have to be grateful for what people who love me do for me and the ceo said yes and that kind of manager i would like to have so you are hired you know so throughout his life he became a wonderful manager always listening to the people and really be grateful and all his subordinates you know all his uh, employees who was working under him they always praise him because he was always there for them and listen to them so you see life is the same you know we have to be grateful for what bhagwan has given us now uh, how when would you be grateful for what he have given you you know and this is all his mercy itself you know it is through his mercy that you have been here you know it is through his mercy that you have become a devotee and for his mercy that everything have happened in your life and also through that mercy his grace will upon will depend will descend upon you so that he can grace you with his presence and with uh, in his uh, vision itself so you see mercy is here now you know and it is through his mercy that we hold upon and being grateful of life itself being grateful of whatever he have given us that that grace can descend upon us <laughs>